Good evening and assalamu alaikum to all my brothers and sisters. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming here tonight. I always say never say never, as I never contemplated entering politics. And I thought I would prepare a speech tonight where I think the best thing is always to speak from the heart. And tonight I will speak from the heart. And I hope it strikes a chord tonight. Palestine was the catalyst. The horrific genocide that we have been witnessing and is still continuing. I couldn't turn a blind eye. Hence, I made an oath to myself and my God that I will do everything in my capacity to be Palestine's voice the voice of humanity, the voice, the voice of Muslims, and the voice for every creed and colour. So there you have it. I stand here in front of you for that very reason. Too many promises have been made by previous political parties, whether it be Conservatives or Labour. None of their promises have, stand, have stood true. We have given them ample chances again and again to prove themselves. And now it's time, the time has come. We all have to take the reins in our hands. And now we all have to be on the right side of history because we all are going to leave this world behind. And we are going to stand in front of our Creator and we will be held accountable what did we all do in our capacity to stand with the right? Conservative and Labour have blood on their hands. Yeah, yeah. And anyone who is a party in any shape and form also will have blood on their hands. So the time has come. We all need to unite. This is the need of the hour. We need to all be on the, on the same page and we need to fight for our rights. We need to fight for the next generation and represent everyone together. This time will never come again. And we all have to play our role as we are all that drop in the ocean. And if I have embarked upon this journey, after God, I need you all by my side as you are all going to be my strength. And we have to send out a voice, loud and clear, that will reverberate on the 4th of July in the shape of your vote, as your vote is your power and your strength. And now we have to send out this message loud and clear to the status quo. So I urge you all that this is time Time for a new beginning, and we are all that new beginning, and we will together write a new chapter. And if we have God with us, and we have our intention that is right, giving up is not an option. We only lose when we give up, and we have to unite because strength is in numbers. And as I said previously, we've given them ample chances. If we look at the NHS, we know there is money out there. And who is responsible for what happens to that money? It's the government. The government make the policies. But the thing is, do they make the policies in our favor? No, they don't. Do they use the money where, they, where the money is needed? Where they should be used on the right resources? No, they don't. As George rightfully said, our taxpayer money is sent to other countries to aid them in their wars. Okay, fine, but the people of Britain are the priority. And I believe in peace over war. So I urge you all, after God, I need you by my side. And together we shall be victorious. And we have to, we have to be that uh, energy. And we have, to, uh, we have to vote on the 4th of July. And we have to send out that message loud and clear and as i said i'm here to represent you all i'm here to be your voice and inshallah god willing 
If I am elected, I will be that voice and I will fight tooth and nail to dictate policies that will be written in your favour. So I thank you.